This is going to be a big claim, but I personally think that this particular seaweed is the world's healthiest seaweed. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is take a look at the benefits of Eclonia carva, which is a brown seaweed that I personally think is the ultimate marine drug. So for those of you who are brand new to my channel, my name is Lucas, the founder of Boost Your Biology. If you've been enjoying these videos, then please like the video and hit subscribe down below to stay up to date with the latest and greatest health research. So this particular seaweed is a super potent seaweed that has 14 years of research and nearly $35 million of clinical studies demonstrating the importance of this particular seaweed. Now, Eclonia derived polyphenols are, are basically unlike those found in land-based plants and are quite possibly the most powerful antioxidants found in nature being 10 to 100 times more powerful than any other polyphenols. So what is Eclonia carva? Well, Eclonia carva, not to be confused with carva, is an edible marine brown algae, popular and abundant in Korea and Japan, and contains various bioactive compounds and derivatives, including fluorotannins, peptides, carotenoids, and fucoidins. Now, the major health benefits associated with Eclonia carva are very diverse, and so here's a list of some of the major benefits we see with Eclonia carva. Number one is for its ability to enhance blood flow. Number two is its beneficial effects on supporting sleep. Number three is enhancing erection quality. Number four is by optimizing and improving insulin sensitivity. Number five is by reducing pain. Number six is its potent antioxidant effects. Number seven is its reducing effect on allergies and the histamine response. Number eight is its highly neuroprotective. It combats cancer in clinical studies. It combats alcohol toxicity. It protects against EMFs. It reduces ear damage, and it may also boost muscle growth. So first of all, let's take a look at how Eclonia carva can actually enhance blood flow in the body. Now, Eclonia carva can actually regenerate the vascular endothelium which is the cells critical to the inner lining of the blood vessels. Now they generate the chemical nitric oxide, which keeps the arterial walls relaxed and dilated, allowing for better blood flow. Now, after a six week study of Eclonia carva, flow mediated dilation and nitric oxide mediated dilation increased by 60% and 50%. So we can see how the dicol, which is one of the compounds found within Eclonia carva, interacts with pathways related to nitric oxide synthesis in the endothelial cell. From a muscle growth perspective, now this study here was titled, the effects of marine algal polyphenols, fluorotannins on skeletal muscle growth in C2, C12 muscle cells via SMAD and IGF-1 signaling pathways. Now, just like epicatechin, which is another natural muscle builder from dark chocolate, Eclonia carva is a strong folistatin booster and such is a myostatin inhibitor. Now, if you do a quick Google search and you search myostatin inhibitor dogs, you'll see that dogs that have a deficiency in myostatin, they have insane muscle development. And there are many different um, peptides and steroids that actually work on this folistatin to myostatin pathway. And so, since Eclonia carva boosts folistatin and actually suppresses myostatin, this does appear to have a favorable effect on building muscle. Now, in addition, the diacol and these fluorotannins regulates myogenesis by downregulating the SMAD signaling, which is a negative regulator and upregulating the insulin-like growth factor one signaling, which is a positive regulator. Now, interestingly, some of these compounds bind strongly to myostatin, which is an inhibitor of myoblast proliferation while also binding to IGF-1 receptors. Moreover, they bind to the IGF-1 receptor and these results suggest that these constituents found within uh, Eclonia carva are potential natural muscle building supplements and could be safer alternatives to synthetic drugs to stimulate muscle growth. And by the way, you will have noticed over the years that Eclonia carva was indeed a, in, an ingredient that was used in various natural muscle building products. Unfortunately, what happened over time, 
these particular products faded away and there was less marketing efforts and research talking about the benefits of these particular ingredients. And Eclonia Carva was one such ingredient that I think what happened is we got so carried away with looking at creatine research. We got interested in looking at citrulline, arginine, and other amino acids where we have a bigger budget for studying. Hey guys, if you're watching this video right now and want to unlock your full mental and physical potential, then the Limitless course is for you. Unlock my best biohacks for energy, motivation, and testosterone optimization so that you can conquer your goals with ease and crush every day with confidence. Click the link in the description and get it now for only $27 today. All right, now let's get straight back into the video. The next benefit, as I alluded to before, was the enhancement of sleep. Now, Eclonia Carver is one of the best supplements to improve sleep, and this is something that I've noticed myself and a lot of my clients have also noticed. Now, Eclonia Carver is one of those supplements where you take it before bed, about 60 to 90 minutes before bed, and you end up sleeping so deeply that it's pretty much impossible to fall back asleep after you've woken up in the morning. So what I mean by this is, let's say your typical wake up time is around 6 o'clock or 7 a.m. For me personally, it's around 6.15 a.m. When I take a Clonia Carver, it makes it impossible to fall back asleep at around 6.15 a.m., um, which means that my sleep quality is so high quality and it's extremely restorative. So we can see that Eclonia Carver promotes many of its central nervous system effects via the GABA-A benzodiazepine receptors. Now, by acting on these receptors, Eclonia Carver has also shown to have anti-convulsive properties and the polyphenols in Eclonia Carver are strong potentiators of sleep. For example, the trifluorothiol A, which is found in Eclonia Carver, may actually uh, improve sleep by decreasing sleep latency and increasing non-rapid eye movement sleep, so non-REM sleep. So in animal models, this particular um, constituent found in Eclonia Carva was able to replicate the effects of Zolpidem or Ambien, but unlike Ambien, it increased the quantity of sleep without reducing sleep quality. So incredible stuff here. And this is credit to Jacob Gordon from My Biohack. Looking at the erection quality side of things, this is obviously related to the blood flow um, results confirm that Eclonia Carver can rejuvenate damaged endothelial cells to upregulate and produce nitric oxide. So this effect was further confirmed in a study on erectile dysfunction, where scientists studied 31 men with erectile dysfunction for over six months. They compared eight weeks of Eclonia Carver used to Viagra, and they looked at orgasmic function, intercourse satisfaction, overall satisfaction, and erectile function. Now, over those eight weeks, Eclonia Carver scored 87%, 74%, 62%, and 66%, whilst Viagra scored 27%, 44%, 39%, and 66%. No side effects were reported with Eclonia Carver. Looking at its ability to enhance insulin sensitivity, so we can see Eclonia's polyphenols are very effective at combating multiple pathologies of diabetes. For example, Eclonia has shown in double-blind randomized placebo-controlled clinical trials over 12 weeks to reduce postprandial hyperglycemia and insulin resistance. Now, Eclonia can improve type 1 diabetes symptoms by activation of AMPK, ACC, and PI3K AKT pathway. In addition, Eclonia can also reduce high blood glucose via the alpha-glucosidase and alpha-amylase inhibition and oxidative stress from hyperglycemia associated with diabetes. For example, in models of type 2 diabetes, Eclonia Carver can normalize blood glucose, insulin, and body weight. Now, Eclonia has also shown to protect pancreatic beta cells, improve their insulin secretion, and reduce extra glucose-induced insulin secretion via sodium-dependent glucose transporter 1 or SGLT1 inhibition. Now, as I mentioned before, it's got a very potent antioxidant effect, so strong that in fact, it, it can actually outperform various antioxidants on the market. Now, the polyphenols in Eclonia Carver are powerful at combating oxidative stress and protect against cellular damage. For example, Eclonia can combat oxidative stress by upregulating antioxidative NRF2 downstream transcription factors. And as I mentioned before, around the reduction in allergies and histamine responses, Eclonia Carver has a powerful anti-allergic uh, effect. 
It can reduce IgE responses from basophils and mast cells and decrease histamine release. It may also inhibit anaphylactic uh, reactions via mast cell activation, and it can stop UVB-induced allergic reactions. Now, it's also considered to be highly neuroprotective. Now, Eclonia carva is also able to increase acetylcholine levels in the brain via butyryl cholinesterase inhibition 100-fold greater than acetylcholinesterase. Now, Eclonia carva can also protect the hippocampus against oxidative stress by stabilizing intracellular calcium levels. Now, we know that calcium abundance can actually lead to um, oxidative damage, and so it can actually stabilize the intracellular calcium levels. In the rest of the brain, Eclonia can protect neurons from oxidative stress via mitochondrial protection and ACHE inhibition, and Eclonia's polyphenols can modulate neurotransmitters to enhance cognition by boosting acetylcholine, increasing GABA, increasing glutamate, lowering norepinephrine and increasing uh, serotonin in the hippocampus. Now, some studies suggest that Eclonia's polyphenols have cancer suppressing effects against breast cancer, colon cancer, fibrosarcoma, liver cancer, melanoma, ovarian cancer, and also skin cancer. As I mentioned before around the alcohol toxicity, Eclonia cover does appear to protect the liver from alcohol-induced injury and helps to break down alcohol by regulating alcohol dehydrogenase and aldehyde dehydrogenase. Can also prevent major changes to serum AST and ALT levels after alcohol ingestion. If you're a guy that's ever had your blood work assessed and you've had a liver panel assessed, you will have noticed that your ALT or AST numbers, what they might have been, if they were high, that actually can indicate liver damage. And so in this study here, they're looking at how a clonia cover can actually normalize and lower AST and ALT just like what we see with Tudka, taurine, and artichoke, and even glutathione. So again, we're having a protective effect on the liver there. Eclonia may also protect against EMF, so electromagnetic fields by suppressing cell death, and it can also stop radiation-induced death in some animal models by reducing immunosuppression. And it can also reduce ear damage. So there's a study that suggests that it may protect from ear damage. So as far as dosages are concerned, we're looking at around 300 to 500 milligrams, preferably after dinner or after a high fat meal. Now, due to its partial uh, fat solubility of the Eclonia carva compounds, its polyphenols can last 12 to 14 hours in human metabolism, whereas most plant-based tannins have a small half-life of approximately only 30 minutes. In addition to a significantly longer half-life, Eclonia carva's oxygen radical absorbance capacity or ORAC value for antioxidation potential is 8,300. So again, with the Clonia Carver, personally, I like to use it before bed, 60 to 90 minutes before bed. And a number of other men who take a Clonia Carver before bed notice the benefits in terms of improving sleep, increasing morning wood, and reducing blood pressure, and also enhancing circulation. So if you do want to purchase a, clon a Clonia Carver, you'll see that linked down below in the video description. But otherwise, thanks so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.